So I'd like to preface the video by saying that this example is available in the Sugar Developer Guide 6.5 and I highly recommend getting it. It's 656 pages of uh, code and examples. So um, I highly recommend uh, reading the guide and uh, a lot of the examples from my code today are, are actually from that um, ebook and it's free to download. So <clears throat> the first thing that uh, we'll do is we'll check that our custom module was created properly inside our package. So we'll open up the, the server and navigate to the following section. So we're going to the custom builds. And we're going to go to the package that was created. So it's the uh, custom pack. And we'll go to sugar modules, modules. This is the um, this is the name of the module that I just uh, created. So it's CP custom uh, module. So we're going to open it up and inside there, we're going to see the following file, which is basically the module name with the uh, .php. So we're going to open it up. And inside this section here, we're going to add the following code. So the basic structure of the code is basically this here. So this is your <clears throat> this is your logic hook. So whatever goes here, this is the stuff that you want it to do. And the important thing to keep in mind is this part here. So we're calling the static method safe um, with the parameter argument uh, check notify. And it's very important that we include this, otherwise it will not work. And the reason why is they, they say that the, the call to the parent save function is critical as this will call out of the box sugar bean to handle the regular save functionality. So to finish redeploy, okay, so basically we know that. And the code that I'm going to use is basically, it's just something that we can uh, uh, see right away. It's going to email us uh, a confirmation. And to make it more fun, what we'll do is we'll make it email it, email us twice. So we're using the default mailer functions. We're going to save the file. So we're going to confirm. Then we're going to go to the, to the actual interface and we're going to deploy. So it's important that we do this. So we click deploy. Then it's going to save all of our uh, info <clears throat> and what happens is basically this is an on save logic hook so whatever we do um, whatever we put as the actions inside this part here it's going to be performed when we hit save inside that module so the logic hook is basically uh, we're attaching this action to the save action also basically so we're we're doing all of this when we click save so let's go and check it out. So the module that I created is called uh, it's called custom module, very original. We're going to create something. So we're going to say uh, blah, 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 administrator. So we're going to put the description. And so when we hit save um, here, it should perform our action. One thing to keep in mind is that if the action is very heavy, uh, you should um, um, pass this onto the job scheduler. So the job scheduler is going to perform this task, but it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it right away as soon as you click save because this may degrade the user experience because it may slow things down, right? So we're going to hit save and we're going to see, then we're going to see if it actually worked or not. And as we can see, it worked. So two emails were sent, 558. Uh, boom, boom, one after the other. So just to show you that you can put several actions here before you save. So this is one way of adding the logic hook to your uh, custom module. There's another way which is described also in the guide on the page uh, 219. And this way is we basically, we must register it inside the, uh, the manifest.php file here. 
and it says that doing so will install the, the blah, install that then you can use the logic of the following content. Okay, so basically there's several ways of doing it, but the the recommended method, which is as per their description, is more flexible and powerful, is the method that was just uh, shown uh, to you. So if you found the video at all helpful, please leave a like. I'm going to be making more of these videos, so please uh, subscribe and thank you for watching. Have a good day.